Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 19 on page 387. The rectangle ABCD has vertices at A, negative 1, 2, 3, B, 2, 6, negative 9, and D, 3, Q, 8. A. Determine the coordinates of the vertex C. B. Determine the angle between the two diagonals of this rectangle. Step 1. Draw a diagram. One way of thinking about this is to label A, B, C, D in this sequence. And again, that's not the only way of drawing this. I'm just going to give you one way of thinking about it. And if you go back to the given, uh, A is negative 1, 2, and 3. B is going to be 2, 6, and negative 9. C is what we're looking for. Let's call this X, Y, and Z. D is going to be 3, Q, and 8. So in part A, your goal is to find the coordinates of, of C. So let's divide this into two different columns, starting with uh, part A. Now, I'm going to leave a bit of space here. I'm going to come back to this. But to find the uh, coordinates of C, X, Y, Z, what you can do is think about the two sides of this rectangle, specifically BC and AD. So if you think about the length or the magnitude of BC and AD, these are the same. So write down the fact that BC equals to AD, meaning that they're equal vectors, same magnitude, pointing in the same direction. So I'll even draw some arrows just to illustrate that. And if you think about BC, by definition, that's going to be OC minus OB. And likewise, AD is going to be OD minus OA. In the given, uh, OC is going to be XYZ, which is what we're trying to find. And OB is given to be 2, 6, and negative 9. On the right-hand side, OD is given to be 3, Q, and 8. OA is given to be negative 1, 2, and 3. So if you collect like terms uh, on the left-hand side, that's going to give you x minus 2, y minus 6, and z plus 9. On the right-hand side, 3 minus negative 1 is going to be 3 plus 1, which is 4, q minus 2, and 8 minus 3, which is 5. Now, I'm going to divide this into uh, three different columns, and I'm basically writing down the three components respectively, meaning in the first column, I'm focusing on the fact that x minus 2 equals to 4, or x equals to 6. In the second column, y minus 6 equals to q minus 2, y minus 6 equals to q minus 2, which means y equals to q plus 4, and we'll come back to this in a moment. We're going to find q. And in the third column, z plus 9 equals to 5, which means if you solve for uh, z, z equals to negative 4. So your goal is to find x, y, z, and uh, the only thing that's holding us back is to find q. So therefore, x, y, z equals to 6, something else, and negative 4. I want to come back to this. So to find q, you have to go back to the diagram and figure out another property about this uh, rectangle. So by inspection, it's a rectangle, which implies that this angle is going to be 90 degrees. So if I draw a vector going up like that, what you should think about is the fact that AD and AB is going to be 90 degrees apart. And if two vectors are 90 degrees apart, this implies that the dot product must be 0. So specifically, AB dotted into AD equals to 0. And again, the dot product of two vectors will give you a scalar outcome. That's why it's going to be 0, not vector 0. So if you start with the left-hand side, AB, by definition, 
is going to be OB minus OA. Let's put this in brackets. Dotted to, again, AD is going to be OD minus OA. And this equals to 0. Uh, B is given to be uh, 2, 6, and negative 9. OA is going to be negative 1, 2, and 3. Let's put all this in brackets. Dot it into OD, which is 3, Q, and 8, minus uh, OA, which is negative 1, 2, and 3. Again, put that in brackets. This equals to uh, 0. When you work this out, uh, 2 minus negative 1 is going to give you 3. 6 minus 2 is going to be 4. Negative 9 minus 3 is going to be negative 12 dotted into 3 minus negative 1 is going to be 4. Q minus 2, you can copy. 8 minus 3 is going to be 5. And when you take the dot product, 3 times 4 is going to be 12. 4 times Q is going to be 4Q. 4 times negative 2 is going to be negative 8. Negative 12 times 5 is going to be negative 60. And now you can solve for Q. If you bring everything to the right-hand side, that's going to be 12 minus 8 minus 60, which is negative 56. When you bring it over, that's 56 divided by 4, so Q is going to be 14. So this means you can go back and plug it back in. And if Q is going to be 14, Q, uh, Y becomes 14 plus uh, 4 which is 18. And that's how you solve part A. When I go back to the diagram, label all this before looking at part B. So if I go back to the diagram now, I can update this and write down 14 for Q. Uh, and for C, uh, that's going to be um, 6, 18, negative 4. So 6, 18, negative 4. Now, in part B, they're asking you to determine the angle between the two diagonals of this uh, rectangle. So if you draw two diagonals, let's say we're focusing on AC and BD. Our goal is to find this angle, and it's called this theta. And again, from dot products, uh, cosine theta equals to the dot product of AC and BD divided by the magnitude of AC times the magnitude of BD. So I'm going to go slightly faster now, now that you understand how to do part A. Cosine theta equals to. So again, even though AC by definition is OC minus OA, you can subtract that. And when you do, AC equals to 7, 16, and negative 7. Likewise, if you think about BD, by definition, that's going to be OD minus OB. When you work this out, it's going to be 1, 8, and 17. So if you look at the denominator, the magnitude of AC is going to be 7 squared plus 16 squared plus in brackets, negative 7 squared. And likewise, when you look at the magnitude of BD, that's going to be 1 squared plus 8 squared plus 17 squared. If you expand the numerator and you took the um, dot product, 7 times 1 is going to be 7, 16 times 8 is going to be 128, negative 7 times 17 is going to be negative 119. And the denominator, I'm just going to copy it as is. Again, you can take the calculator, work this out in one step. There's really no need to do this in several steps. Once you understand how to set this up, you simply take the uh, calculator and you work this out. And once you work out the right-hand side, and you take the inverse cosine of the answer, and you round your final angle to the nearest tenth, theta is going to be 87.4 degrees. Again, make sure you write a final statement for uh, both parts A and B. And this is how you solve number 19. I hope this makes sense.